may run 34 like this tonight just to get some more points. He's obviously got radio communication with his team. Here we see Orgland Bottoms hooking up on the ice. Oh! Car on his side. That's down. Larry Foyt. That is a massive crash there. Wow, that was a big wreck, Gary. About seven or eight cars involved, and this could bring out a red. The uh, yellow flag is out. We're looking at the start and finish line to see if, in fact, they do go to a red. And we'll have to uh, recap okay. who is involved in this massive, violent crash. We see a driver climbing out. Is that Larry Foyt? He went upside down. In the black down. driving suit. Larry he Foyt. was upside down. And uh, he rolls on the ground as that Terre Haute First National Bank sponsorship. Another car with a fire. I believe that may be. And the red flag is being displayed at the start finish line. Okay. And AJ Foyt runs to the scene of the crash to make sure his son is okay. His son's still lying on the grass. AJ is there with him. I think that was Michael Curtis, the red, white, and green car involved as well. But uh, here we see Riker bringing the field down into pit lane. And there is a look at uh, Larry Foyt's car, the remains of that car that took the wild ride. And you see the. Uh, Attention being paid to him as uh, AJ trying to take the helmet off. This is what happens when you get in these big packs of cars. If something does go wrong, everyone's together. There's no time to react. And at 150 miles an hour plus, it can get ugly in a hurry. And again, the comparisons are there with NASCAR and restrictor plate racing. You're racing so close together, as you indicated, one bobble and it gathers up a number of race cars. And the difference is, Gary, that these are open wheel race cars. I mean, it was actually two tires touching. We need to see a replay before we can determine uh, who was involved there initially. But uh, it's one thing with sheet metal, but when you're actually uh, side by side open wheel and we see Arnold Brinkman, I believe he was one of the cars that actually touched there going through the dog leg and uh, the medical team are working on Arnold, hopefully getting him out of the car safely. Well, there's that's Curtis, I believe. I was yeah, trying to Michael Curtis that car earlier. in the number 45 car climbs out. You can see how badly damaged the car is, but you can see the superstructure is intact. So let's take a look back and uh, take a look at our replays on exactly what happened, what triggered this as they were going about three wide. Well, you see Brinkman in the middle there, and uh, he then, you see Bottoms came down a little bit. Bottoms tried to stay with Orgel, and that's what caused the uh, tire wheel-to-wheel -wheel contact with Brinkman. And then he actually went sideways, and that's what flipped Larry Foyt upside down. Well, the flip was not really uh, what hurt Larry Foyt. It was that abrupt stop against the outside wall that really uh, rung his bell. Here Take a look again. again. You see Brinkman in the middle. Now watch the three car. He's tucked up behind Ogle. Ogle goes by Brinkman, and now Bottoms tries to stay with him, and bam, he turns into Brinkman, who consequently runs into Foyt, and he's upside down. There you see Curtis involved as well in the fire coming from the 45 machine. So 45 made contact with Foyt just about the time Foyt hit the wall right there. Wow, that was a big crash. Hopefully those boys are okay. Let's take another look here. See him coming down. You see Brinkman right there in the middle. And then you see Bottoms, the yellow, yellow car there. He came down on Brinkman, turned him into Foyt, and that flipped him upside down. So about an eight-car crash. Once again, the red flag flew almost immediately as we saw A.J. run over to the aid of his son, Larry. So uh, we'll take a break, sort this out, and come back to Atlanta Motor Speedway. Who was? Yeah, that onboard should be pretty good. Who was the profile driver? Jonathan Bottoms. <laughs> That's not really appropriate right now. Can we do two profiles the next race to satisfy Yokohama? You can't put Bottoms well, that's in that's the show a That's a point. tough call. No, he kept going. Bottoms kept going. So who do we actually have involved in this fracas? Hey, Booth. Yeah. Booth. Yes. Um, the guy in, who's driving the yellow car with the yellow nose and the red striping and blue side. It's Brinkman, I think. Uh, he was the only one that wasn't moving out of this group. Okay. And uh, he was the first in the uh, ambulance, and he wasn't moving when they put him in the ambulance either. 
So uh, Foyt had to get from my angle. He was a good six feet upside down off the ground. But again, he never hit anything hard. But Brinkman's car, the whole back end, is uh, the engine bay is torn off. So he came to one heck of a sudden stop. Can you give us uh, numbers down there? I've got Michael uh, Curtis in 45. Wait, okay. Foyt's in 14. Brinkman's in, what, 35? Of course, there, there aren't any rear wings left, so uh, i got to look at the noses. That's wood. you, you got number 19 in the 99, 99 purple that's car. That's wood. 99 purple car. Then you got Foyt. Then you have one of the... Uh, i got Arnold Brinkman. i got Larry Foyt, Michael Curtis, Tom Wood. What's that one there? That's the... Uh, Larry, oh, jeez, Larry Alberto again. God damn. Are you guys making a list there in the truck? Uh, Was 45 involved as well and 66? I have one, two, three, four, five. So far, there are other cars involved, though. 45 and 66 because they're both yeah, yellow. I've right? got those down. Okay. 35, 14, 45, 99, 66. Who else down there? I think that's it. That was it. Biz, are you going to the hospital? Can we show uh, I can do in that. Uh, everyone Great. is conscious, except for uh, Brinkman. If, okay. Where is the medical center? Like that. Okay, then you see bottoms here. So he actually broke the suspension. Just Can you just back up a little bit? Just back up a little bit, just after he hit. I think the suspension is already, yeah, the suspension's already broke when he hit. See that there? We want to stop and it right Foyt there. Foyt goes over the wheel. Yeah. Well, either way, just back up. Okay, Eric, as soon as they hit, stop it, okay? Eric? Right there. Okay, stop. Then I'll circle that. You can see the suspension is already broken. And now he's going to head down into Larry Foyt. Foyt's going to climb okay. his wheel right there. And then there. immediately rolls Larry over. You see Prima to the inside. Now there's going to be... Big impact there with wood to the outside. I want to see where a birdo. Oh, there's a birdo down in the right side. Where does he end well, who up? Who are these two the right road. here? Okay. Who's that? I don't know. Which one's a birdo and which one's. Okay, hang on. Stop right there. Is this car 66 or 45? That's 66, isn't it? And this one's 45, right? Okay. Well, where, if we go on through, you've got another crash down here. After Foyt smacks the wall, two other guys get together. Stop it right. Right here. Right, th oh, right there. Okay. Right here. You can see you've got Wood there, and then you've got Curtis right there, the number 45 machine. They're going to get together further down and back in the action here up against the wall. We have a Birdo, Foyt, and Woods to the incident. So it's just a Birdo and Foyt must be in that picture. Well, there's a couple of them wings. A couple of wings were flying there. Oh no, no. Okay, let's just let's just follow the purple car. Just follow the purple car because I want to see where he goes. Who's the purple car? Boom! Purple cars here. Boom! There. That's Alberto. That's Alberto. That's Wood. There's Foyt. Curtis is in here. So that's Where's it, Brinkman right? Where's then? Brinkman? Let's see where Brinkman goes to. Brinkman's right boom, in the middle. Boom. Okay. Okay. Foyt yeah. goes on over. Okay. Where's Brinkman go? He gets tagged right there in the rear. Well, he's, he's in there he's as well. He's yeah. in there too. There's three cars there. There's Brinkman. <laughs> so you got two cars right there. There. Foyt. Who's the other one right there? Alberto. This one's gonna start raining. Where is he? You want to roll through this uh, slowly? Just show me where you're going to stop it. Where's the helicopter? I think the first thing we have to show is uh, Bottoms jinking. Okay, right oh, now we're going to watch Jonathan track? Bottoms. He's going to try and follow Orgel. He is not clear of Brinkman. He hits Brinkman, and there you see it right there. Arnold Brinkman's suspension is broken. He's got no control of the machine at this point. He runs into Larry Foyt, the 14 car. He immediately turns Larry up on his head. He does a complete rollover. Then you see a car down on the inside here. 
And then the rest of the pack, these three here are going to try and miss this carnage. It's Tom Wood to the left, then the 66 car. He actually... We need to do another stop in the middle for me to... Can we stop a little earlier? Yeah. Okay, right there. Okay, right there. And we can see that Curtis and Wood are down in this incident. And then back in the pack here, we have Larry Alberto, Larry Foyt, and Brinkman right here in the screen. He's the one we can... Oh, I don't want to say concerned about it. See the fire in the car. We see uh, Larry Alberto and Larry Foy hooked up. Wood will now slide down into the grass area on the infield. He's safe here. And you see wheels and wings flying here. And the catch fencing has really done its job here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Now the catch fencing was raised too after the Charlotte thing. Boom, right there. Okay, I think it's Prima goes down in the grass maybe, which is the, this car here. We're gonna make this a segment in itself, just the replay and then go to a break again and see what happens. Brinkman. Brinkman. No, he, f he flipped over Good Brinkman. Brinkman. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't talk to anyone down there. Right here, I think this car may get involved. Look at him, see where he goes. Car down in the grass. That may be a six car if we lost another one. There's Constantine there in the silver and blue machine. Puccini gets through clean. He's in the grass, though. I only saw five unless Prima uh, suffered some damage. Yeah, we got him. That's 99 more. Okay, wood. there's 18 set here. She said five in the wreck. That's your 23. Purple car is this car right there. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. It's over. Got this becomes a 30 minute show. of time because we have to break calp and if we go back and do a segment on just this stop action get that segment in it's probably going to be a 30 minute show because the checkered flags out we certainly can't fill for an hour uh, how much have we filled where are you now john <laughs> 